This is Kimberly Fox, proprietor of Kim's Palace, a bed and breakfast in a Victorian square deep in the London borough of Walford. Following an ambitious six-month renovation programme, Kimberly has just reopened the B&B to the public, showcasing a brave aesthetic design and a new business focus. The beauty of being a puppet, a puppet, a puppet, of owning your own business is that you can get up when you want to and do what you want to, you know? All the other things that needs to be done, you can employ staff to do that. Oh, and it's great if they live in because they'll never be late. The other members of staff, Kimberly's father figure, Patrick Truman, and sister Denise are nowhere to be seen. But if she opens her eyes, Denise has left a note for Kimberly. While you were out partying late last night, I booked a guest in the Usain Bolt room. Bookings on the computer. I'm having a day off. <laughs> Good luck, Denise. <laughs> Bookings on the computer. Denise is so anus. Denise has created what she describes as a step-by-step -step Spidergram idiot guide on how to use the computer. This will show her how to access the B&B's booking forms. These are where all the important guest details are logged. However, Denise's handy hints aren't quite enough to counterbalance Kimberly's rudimentary IT skills. To booking form. That'll be them. I best go and introduce myself. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Hello? I, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Kimberly Fox, owner of Kim's Palace. Should you need anything, just um, feel free to ask. Hello? I'm not afraid to run this business on my own, you know. I can do it. I don't need anyone really, you know. I mean, I was born alone. I'm not a twin, I'm not a triplet. But the extra hands, they help. So Kim, how many guests do you have at the B&B right now? Um, I've got only the one guest in the Usain Bolt, Bawa. Yes, yeah, so um, I'll be waiting on them foot and mouth. Or is that mouth and foot? Foot and foot? Anyway, I'll be at their disposal. It's now mid-afternoon and Kimberly has had no luck in getting through to the mystery guest staying in the Usain Bolt room. Always very similar to Vienna, wall clocks, so it's your appeal. It's £120, we ought to try and get it down to about £80, £90 at some level. If you can, then I think we stand a chance of making a profit. Ian! Yes! So I'm going to be using my multi bling. my multi fling. my multi. the different languages that I know, to see if I can make a connection in another way. Yeah. Yo, listen up. I'm gonna see if I'm morning and I just wanna make sure you're all right, see? Hello. Ciao, bella, ciao, man, mamma mia, tagli, telly, tiramisu. Bonjour, je m'appelle Kimberly, eh, fromage frais. The thing about running a business, especially a B&B, is that you have to have experience of the world and of life, you know. You have to be able to research the world you live in and also be able to retain information. I remember when I was at school in a history lesson, we were learning about war's code. It's these skills that will help you with the unexpected guest. 
I mean, for example, if an old man was to come to the B&B on crutches with a berry and one leg, I'd say, oh, the blitz was really bad, didn't it? As a way of opening up a conversation. It's been four hours and Kimberly still hasn't seen or spoken to the guest staying in the Usain Bolt room. Denise, if this is one of your jokes, it is so not funny. Whoever's in that room hasn't come out all day. I mean, what's their name? What's their mobile number? And you know what? There better be somebody in that room because if I have to block down that door, trust me, you're paying for it. Call me back. That person has been in that room for four hours now and they haven't even come out to use the toilet. I only hope they've been using my vase in I mean, they haven't even come out to say hello or nothing. And then to use the do not disturb sign, I mean, it's taking the libs. I'm a patient person, a friendly, trustworthy, entertainingly person. But Kimberly's patience is being tested by her unresponsive guest. Are you there on the other side of the Business, you have to think of every event you well, event you of any event that might happen or could happen. That's what I always do. Having so far failed to communicate with her new guest, Kimberly decides on one final and some might say extreme course of action. If Kimberly had been able to access the B&B's booking system, she would have known that the guest staying in the Usain Bolt room is, in fact, deaf, and has requested to be left in peace. Ow! Do me a favour! I suppose what marks me out to be a true professional is my ability to keep cool in a crisis, you know? That's why I'm the boss and not Denise. <laughs> you don't want to see Denise stressed out, no. No, but the thing is, it's all about the facade, you know? It never drops. Always professional, always on the ball, always kept. 